welcome friends welcome to this moodle tutorial series moodle for developers in this video uh, we will you will see how to save the form browse from this area okay so for this if you have not watched my previous video i will suggest please watch that before proceeding this okay so in previous video you have seen that file browse process have been done now let's see the submission part after clicking on this how it will be saved to database table okay so under the file manager area after scrolling down so this is the function Moodle has given to store the file okay so you already have your this data area so here we can we will write our code okay just copy and paste as it is data in our case that is in form attachments we have not used attachment but we have used three attachments so make this first correction context id means on which every in model every page a feature have is on context so context currently i am using here on the page is system context okay so it will give you the context id that is right no connection required what is this when come to this that is component name so the th this three parameter you this four parameter you must need to know first one is context id you just see uh, using the system context and that id then this is the component and this is file area and this is the item id okay what is what are these fields this field will be helpful while you will accessing this stored file okay so let's see here so let's make the correction here i am changing this to ram and what is this com this is component ram component and this one is file area ram file area okay and make it one and what is this this is basically to uh, this one the item id so why this field this field has been for the purpose in this form submission which image has been uploaded so this item id field can be used here as a identifier okay so i will use this inserted id once the form submission is made uh, mdl email list data will be inserted and it will return the id okay so i will use this id here okay so i think we are done it should be working fine let's see whether it is working or not okay so let's come from the form page browse here and it will be saved in the mdl files okay so here you can see 156 you got now i am browsing here how to get ip address thing let's click on ram, ram. click on save changes okay so it is saying record has been added successfully let's refresh here and you can see here is the thing has been inserted the component id that we have given okay and then this is the file area and the item id 71 you can see the last record here okay so you have seen in this video we have completed the form processing using the file manager hope you will learn Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching.